He served in the Marines and in recent years became a mixed martial arts fighter. But tonight, friends and family are remembering a Powell County man. They say he suddenly died while on vacation in Florida. Now the community is trying to help his family. Victor Puente talks to the man's mother, new at 11. Wednesday evening, dozens of people will gather here at the AMVETS in Clay City to celebrate the life of 34-year-old Ricky Borders. They're not sure how many to expect, but they expect a big crowd. One of his Marine buddies said, I thought I was his best friend. He said, I look on Facebook and I realize he has a thousand best friends. Patricia Borders says her son was vacationing in Florida when an accident with a gun killed the father of three. He had served two tours in Iraq before being medically retired and came home to Powell County where he became an MMA fighter, then a martial arts teacher. The kid wouldn't have the money and he said, well, you need to bring it next time. Next time the kid come in, mommy don't have the money. Just come on, honey. He wouldn't turn him away. I went to high school with Ricky and only saw him a couple of times after we graduated. But every time, he had a smile on his face and acted like it had only been a few days since we'd seen each other. His mother told me she's heard dozens of stories similar to that one. He'd run up, hey, dude, what you been up to? We got to come out and hang out or something. That's the way he would be with everyone. His family started a GoFundMe to raise money to bring his body home. They couldn't have anticipated how many people wanted to help. His mother said they'd hoped to raise a few thousand dollars, and now at more than 13,000. Any excess money will go to his wife. Despite his injury, Borders worked full time so she could go to school and raise their children. People that are going to pay for him to come home. There's not enough. Thank you, it's not enough. In Powell County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Very loved and respected man. Another fundraiser is planned for Sunday afternoon at Georgetown Mixed Martial Arts.